Welcome back to Mobile Tech Root, and today I'm going to show you two interesting things that I found out in the Mango Beta. So this is running on my Samsung Omnia 7. So as you probably already know, if you want to watch embedded YouTube videos on Windows Phone 7, you need to download a plugin that's available on the marketplace for free. But what I found out recently is that this is no longer needed in Mango. So as you can see right here, there's an embedded video and my HTC Fly review. So if I tap on it once, it will show a playback icon and if I tap one more time, it will load up the native video player of Windows Phone 7 and play back the video in high quality directly in the video player. And you can go forward, backward, pause it and change the aspect ratio. And I don't have the YouTube plugin installed on my device right now, but the only catch here is that the embedded video has to use the new iframe embedded code from Google. So for example, if I go to another page here, I'm using the old code and to play back videos embedded with the old code, I need to download the plugin from the marketplace. So this was one interesting thing. The other thing is that as you can see here, if you want to jump from one tab to another or go into the favorites, you actually have to tap once, twice, and a third time to go to another tab. And this is really annoying for me. So I find that if you long press and go into the test switch view. You can actually jump quickly from one tab to another because each tab is actually handled by the OS as a separate application. So I can go here, long press, go to this tab. It's quicker than going here, here, and here. Just long press and go to another tab. So it was, this was a quick look at some of the new features of the Mango Beta. You can catch MobileTechWorld.com or subscribe to my channel here on YouTube at MobileTechWorld TV. Thanks for watching.